a year ago, I never thought I'd say I'd be looking forward to going out for a run almost every day. But it's just become an important part of my routine. It makes me feel better, it makes me feel energized, it actually makes me feel healthier. I want another good thing. I get to walk. I get to walk the dog. So combine those two things together makes me even better. A year ago I embarked on a journey, a journey that's close to my heart and my health. Not just to close my rings on my Apple Watch, but to close the gap between who I was and who I wanted to be. It's about how this little gadget on my wrist transformed me from a couch potato into a runner in just one year. So let's dive into the journey of how closing these activity rings daily has given me a newfound love for running. I've been participating in my own Apple Watch challenge. If you saw this video that I made about being healthier and fitter with the Apple Watch and with the importance of just closing the three daily activity rings, the move, exercise and stand rings, then you'll know that during that video, I was actively participating in closing my activity rings. Back in April, towards the end of April, I think, I decided that on the first day of May, I was gonna start this challenge, not with any end date in mind, just to keep going. But on that day, motivation hit me and suddenly I decided I was going to start on that day, the 28th of April. As of today's date, Sunday the 28th of April 2024, I've closed those activity rings daily for 378 days. So for those 378 days, I've committed to closing all three activity rings every single day. No excuses, no breaks, no cheating. Because if I'm cheating, then I'm only going to be cheating myself. And I'm still on that fitness journey. And it was all about closing my activity rings on my Apple Watch. From what started as a personal challenge has now evolved into me having a better, healthier, happier life. Because I'm a competitive person, doing any form of challenge, like daily challenge, is going to be the best sort of thing for me. So doing something as trivial as just closing your activity rings on your Apple Watch is perfect for me. On day one, I couldn't even run down the road without gasping for air, but I was determined. Now fast forward a few months and something clicked. I decided to start running. I might look like someone that's tired and not enjoying life right at this moment, but don't get me wrong, I love running. Running wasn't just a box to tick off, it has become my escape, my meditation, my adventure, and my place where I can push the limits to just what I can do. This is me after I've just run the fastest ever that I've ever run, and for the first time ever, I've got an under 30 minute. 5k <laughs> yes the journey hasn't just been about the physical changes sure i've become fitter stronger and more energetic but the real change was up here every closed ring was a small victory a step towards a happier healthier me i went from running out of breath to now running five times a week and actually missing the fact that on my rest days i'm not running i've learned so much about myself i pushed past the limits i thought were unbreakable and i found the joy in little things the rings on my Apple Watch have become more than just goals. They've become reflections of my dedication and I get a daily reminder of that dedication. Many critics will say that the algorithm of how the Apple Watch works out its metrics is inaccurate, but when applied correctly and as a source of inspiration for a better you, there is no better at all. Smartwatches have saved people's lives and I don't know whether I'd be in the same much better mindset if it wasn't for everything that I'd said in that first video. Even if I can do 30, just 30 minutes a day, it makes a big difference. I found that setting small goals can help. For example, I might go for a walk for 30 minutes a day, do 10 push-ups and 10 sit-ups a day. Anything active counts. If a healthier me means I'm gonna be able to live longer, be able to kick a football around with my future children without getting out of breath, and be a more positive, happier person for the people around me, then there is no critic in the world that is gonna be able to tell me that these things aren't good for you. Yes, staying motivated throughout the year to close those activity rings has been challenging at times, but by adopting some strategies like setting clear goals, varying my activities at the start, I was alternating between running, weights and indoor cycling on Zwift, tracking my progress on things like Apple Health and my running through Strava, celebrating those little milestones, like achieving that first 1K run, that 4K run, 10K run, things like that. The social support, like people noticing you seem happier, that you've lost weight, or personally getting into clothes that you've not worn before, or weighing less on the scales. All those things help up to keep you motivated. Remember, it's normal for motivation to ebb and flow, but the persistence and finding that personal meaning in the challenge can help 
make all the difference in achieving your life-changing long-term goals. Might be painful, but the important thing is just to keep pushing, keep going, keep challenging yourself, and that way you will get better. Looking at the numbers and just flicking through the Apple Health app, over the year I've lost weight, reduced my resting heart rate and blood pressure, and improved my sleep. But you know what the most significant number is? The countless moments of pride and self-love that no graph can show. It's natural to consider quitting, particularly at the start or during the journey if you begin to not see any more changes. It's these moments that can be the most challenging times in any fitness journey. If you're putting in the hard work right now, rainy weather, cold, the winter, you'll thank yourself for doing it in the future. The lack of visible progress can often lead to frustration and doubt. However, it's often at these moments that it's crucial to remember your reasons for starting and the focus on the long-term benefits rather than the immediate results. Remember your why. Revisiting your initial motivation can reignite the passion that got you started in the first place. If you need to turn to friends, family or a community for encouragement, that can provide you with that much needed boost. Ultimately, it's your decision to push through that plateau that can lead you on to a greater self-discovery and personal growth, reinforcing your commitment to a healthier lifestyle and a better you. This year-long experience has been more than just closing the activity rings on my Apple Watch. It's been about opening doors to a new lifestyle, about setting goals, pushing my limits and finding joy in the journey. I'm healthier, yes, but more importantly, I'm in a much happier place about how I feel about myself. And... I owe it all to this little gadget on my wrist, my Apple Watch. And now, most excitingly, I'm just one week away from running my first ever half marathon. Can you believe it? Well, while this has been focused on fitness, you could adopt this and alter this to almost anything in your life. Personally, I've found that it has also helped me creatively, and certain videos on the channel over the last year have reflected that. So... What's your goal and challenge going to be over the next week, month, year and beyond? Whatever it is, just start today. You don't have to have one of these, you can just have your own source of inspiration. And maybe a year from now, you'll be sharing your own story. My name's Andre, I just thought I'd say hi and thanks for thanks for following, thanks for coming on the journey with me. I um, just thought I'd uh, just say like thanks for the messages and thanks for thanks for everything really thanks for making this uh it feels like a community a good community of runners definitely runners i definitely call myself a runner no matter what the speed what the time you're definitely a runner but let's tell you where how i've got to where i am today the journey started about a year ago i'd be doing nothing couldn't even run down the road or anything like that it's just 12 months ago Hard to believe, particularly where I am right now, just gearing up to do my first half marathon in nine days' time, which is very exciting. But well, anyway, I so about a year ago, I decided to. I'm up. I'm always up for a challenge, and although it sounds quite trivial, you know, when you when you close your activity rings on your on your Apple Watch, that does it for me. That's that's quite motivational for me at the start. So that's what I've been doing for over a year. So every day making sure that I've closed all three activity rings, the standing one, the activity one, and the exercise one. But, you know, I didn't, I was, I was probably in a bad place mentally regarding my weight. So I just wanted to do something active. And so I just decided to, just started off with small walks, small runs at the time I couldn't even I couldn't even run a kilometer this time last year without stopping and now look where I am as I said I can run probably the furthest I've run is 22 kilometers without stopping which is obviously just over just over a half marathon so now it's transpired that I actually love running from running once a week I'm now running five times a week I said, what keep going back to 12 months ago? I never thought that I'd be in a position where I'd be looking forward to going going for a run like every day. And today is a rest day and I'm actually missing the fact that I'm running and I'm not running. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, 
press that like button and subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this and i'll see you in the next one